Slant3D is a company with a million dollar print farm, and I want to use them to try to produce my first real Etsy product. I'm calling it the Volleyball MagSafe phone stand, and what it does is that it charges your phone magnetically. The question is, can their printers compare to the quality of my Bamboo Labs 3D printer that I have at home? And to find that out, I have my fiance blindly compare my printed version and theirs. Well, in the front, this one is better. It doesn't bleed, if that makes sense. Like the lines are much, much crispier. However, this one looks cheap. Can you put your phone on it and see which one, or they both work to charge? Yep. Charged. Okay. This one grips way better. Okay, so overall, which one do you like better? This guy right here. One more thing. It, can you see the discoloration here? For a printing job. Do better. <laughs> but yeah, look at this. It's like kind of a rush job. But this one is nicer. So you heard it from her. Slam 3D needs to do better. Um, here is some of that discoloration that she was talking about. You can see that kind of highlighted on screen there where the front is not too clean. This is uh, printed face down. So this is the base plate, which is not really supported by Slam 3D, I will say. You can also see the bleeding she was talking about here on the front. Versus this is the version that I made at home. So the base is a lot more uniform, just using the Bamboo Labs standard plate. And the lines are much cleaner there with that first layer. I will say that Slant 3D has given me some advice on how to print this. They said that it would be better to print this kind of pattern standing up uh, versus being face down. I don't understand how I would do that without using a lot of support material, especially with this being a very, very thin design where I don't expect that to work. But I'm willing to try it if they think that I will. They know a lot more about some of the stuff than me. I will say that whenever I try to print the same kind of design, this is just a flat face one, uh, standing up, this is what I got on my 3D printers. The design's a little bit altered around the base, but other than that, it's identical. And it's just really not that appealing because you can see this part kind of flexing out and it just doesn't look very good. This was also printed on my Bamboo Labs P1P, but just because it's a very thin layer when printed vertically, it just looks a lot worse than if it was printed face down. On the magnets, I actually recently got magnetic paper, so I can actually show you the difference between their magnets. You can see there's basically three um, separate magnets in here versus the magnets that I'm using, which is this one right here which has a magnetic ring that goes all the way around it. And this is kind of hard to show on camera because it's magnetic stress testing, but it's a lot stronger than the one that they are including. So if I try to hang my phone on this and shake it, it just falls right off versus the other one where it stays on pretty well. Not the most scientific test. And I know there's better ways to do it, but the magnet that I'm using is just much stronger. And they actually used to use this magnet that I'm holding, but they switched over to a different supplier. My thought is that it's probably because this was holding on to phones too strong. So if you had a design where the magnet is not enclosed inside of the actual phone stand, then you're just pulling it out. And instead of my own designs, that can make the charging puck disattach with the uh, phone whenever you remove it. One thing that I will say that I love about Slant 3D is that you can literally just go on their website and for any orders that they've completed for you in the past three years, starting from like maybe a month back, something like that, you can literally just go in and say, I was not happy with this order. You push the refund button and there's no questions asked. They don't ask you to send pictures of the part or anything else. They just give you your money back. <laughs> they just fully trust you. Hey, this guy wasn't happy with the product he received the customer wasn't happy, whatever else, and they just give you your money back. So absolutely massive props to them for that. I'll also say that I will use them from some other projects, such as these heart stands that I made. This is the design. Uh, this is not one that they made, but basically this. 
and I have shipped these to a couple of different customers and they were happy with them. Like I said before, um, I have experienced some issues with the magnets coming out. So until they add some more sticky pads or something to hold the magnets, the MagSafe chargers in really securely, I probably won't be using them if I get any more orders coming in until they add that um, option. But for projects where the bottom layer is not very complex, they do great. I really like Slant 3D as a company. I've talked to Gabe on the phone multiple times throughout this entire process, just uh, both for this business and then other things in the past. And the fact that I can just talk to the CEO of this company, that he has a podcast every single week where he talks in detail about what this company is doing, and I really believe in their goal as well, is just super, super cool. I can just say that I currently will not be using them for this specific application. I was actually taking out the MagSafe uh, charging puck earlier just to get some more shots of that magnet and this broke as well. And it's just the quality on this, if you're using them for a design that really relies on the first layer being perfect, I, it's not there yet. Maybe it'll get there at some point, but I would say don't use it for that yet. I have some other designs that I'm working on that I think will work better such as lamps and those kind of things. But for something like this, I would say maybe hold off until they optimize it just a little bit more. Teleport is a very, very cool software platform. I love what they're doing, but that's my honest review of it for now. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. And I'd love to hear from Slant3D on what they're doing to improve this or if this is just a use case that they're never planning to really support. Thank you.